Let's talk about security. It's been weeks, if not months, since government imposed restrictions which included lockdowns and ban on public gathering as well as some business operations. The situation has resulted in a number of Ghanaians losing their legitimate sources of income. Whilst there have been no evidence to prove, many also believe that some persons have taken to burglary. Right here at Joe News, at least three of our colleagues have been attacked by either armed robbers or have faced burglary in the last week alone. Many got worried when news broke that more than 10,000 officers had been withdrawn from police duties to undergo mandatory quarantine following their role in the enforcement of the lockdown and the fact that they've been tested. We'll hear from some Ghanaians on what their security situation is at the moment, plus your comment on our social media post. First, a report by my colleague Emmanuel Ante focusing on an Okada rider or, or Okada riders who are out of business at the moment. How are they surviving? If they say they will ban Okada, they are not help because majority, plenty of people are not saying do Okada, mostly be criminals. So we say they ban Okada, we don't give us any percentage, so we could take my business. But I say, well, what for us here, Tom? We won't ban Okada. How we go do? A desperate Okada rider threatening to return to petty robbery, popularly known as Kwashi, the situation sums up that of many other commercial motor riders who've been out of business for more than two months as government imposed bans and other restrictions aimed at halting the spread of COVID-19. The Okada business, in particular, has been stopped since government announced social distancing measures. But the riders say they are now feeling the pinch of the ban. As for the lockdown, there has, has affected plenty of we Okada riders. Because right now, this is what we do to survive. We have wives and kids. So this is what I do when I survive. Since this lockdown came, they say we are Okada riders, we are not supposed to carry anyone on the motorbike. Government should talk. Maybe if you don't carry someone on your motorbike, you have to make sure that the person is wearing no mask. That's all. If not there, we cannot survive. And if the government cannot allow us to work there, then we have to give us our daily bread so that we can survive at home. This Okada rider says he's an ex-convict. He calls himself Bola Man. For him, it has become critical. And if he does not act fast, he might go back to jail. Me like this, me are from jail camp. Uh, I mean, they help me. I get three children. If I take money, they watch my wife, then my kiddies. So he said, ban Okada. He no, he no bring any sense. So may the government watch. Make it help we the Okada people. This thing can bring more uh, crime. Because he said, we should wear masks. Somebody can wear masks. Should use the mask to go and rob. How does make sense? Charles and other colleagues of his also sided with Bolaman. They believe the hunger they are going through now will push them back into other nefarious activities just to survive. Sitting at home, my brother, is not easy. So that's what we have to tell the government. We beg the government, you should do something about that. The Okada, they say they will ban the Okada, then they have to give us work. Otherwise, we will come out with face to face. You understand me? We will face them. For this patron of the Okada business, their inability to work freely is inconveniencing them.